here what we have is um, uh, if you see there's a blue box in the middle um, so that's the ACP app server and uh, the uh, the honey colored box at the top is where the users are coming in and it could be any of the UIs it could be SAP GUI it could be NWBC Fiori or any of those different um, UIs and the honey colored box at the bottom is our analytics dashboard uh, it can be on any SIM tool, and for the demo, we used Splunk. And um, so, when the user comes in through um, the different devices or different UIs, um, we kind of intercept uh, the transaction flow, and we have the Axiom Security plugin that collects information about the different users and the transaction, and also the context in which the user is trying to access the data and we subject the user access to different rules that are defined in the platform. It could be access control rules, which allow the user to go in to the transaction to view all data, or it could be rules that um, block the user from viewing certain information within the transaction, or it could be a complete block to the transaction uh, under certain circumstances. And it could be business process risk engine, um, which defines which business processes need to be tracked and monitored. Or uh, it could be rules like who can approve POs over a particular dollar value, or how many times, or how many times a particular financial info is being changed. Or it also could be compliance rules such as SOD or PII or GDPR related rules. So all these rules are evaluated uh, during the transaction runtime. And depending on the different attributes that we collect and the policies that are defined, we then allow the user to go in and view the information or block the user from going into the transaction or allow uh, information that are um, not uh, masked for that particular user. So making sure that the right user gets access to the right info at the right time and all of these interaction that the user does in the system is then sent to the access event logger um, that is a third box within the application server. And uh, we also write into the SLG1 logs, uh, the application logs. Uh, that is uh, also a requirement by SAP for vendor uh, products to be able to write into the application log. And everything is then collected and the metadata is then sent over to the application analytics dashboard. And we are able to generate the different logs in there. So that's the process flow. And um, as you can see, the whole uh, product is within the application server, except for the analytics part. And so it can be installed as an add-on and the Axion platform is, is in its own uh, namespace when it's installed and can be integrated into the customer's implementation. And that's when the access control rules kick in and so um, uh, installation is very similar to any of the SAP um, supported um, enhancement packs or upgrades or add-on installation. And then dashboards provide different APIs that can hook into Splunk or any other SIM tool that needs to be connected to it and we can send the information to the dashboard. So that's the process flow. Um, and uh, from a performance point of view, uh, we are an SAP certified partner, as Greg mentioned. So uh, we fall within the performance uh, overhead that needs to be added or uh, must uh, be complied by vendor products. So we are under uh, the overhead uh, that's uh, mandated by SAP. And uh, because we are an add-on, we can be installed on any of the ABAP servers, CRM, SRM, ECC, S4, and uh, it should seamlessly integrate into the transaction business process and be able to enforce access control and business process controls. 